Ever found yourself reaching for a tub of ice cream or a bag of candies after a bad day? Yeah, we've all been there. But why do we crave sugar when we're feeling down? Is it just a comfort thing or is there more to it? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating science behind why you might crave sugar when you're sad. Prepare to be surprised. First, let's talk about what happens in your body when you're feeling blue. Your body reacts to stress or sadness by producing a hormone called cortisol. This hormone is responsible for a variety of things, including regulating your metabolism and controlling your blood sugar levels. But when you're feeling low, your cortisol levels spike, leading your body to crave quick energy sources. And guess what's a quick and easy source of energy? That's right, sugar. Now you might be wondering, why does my body think it needs more energy when I'm sad? I'm not exactly running a marathon here. Well, your body doesn't distinguish between physical stress and emotional stress. To your body, stress means danger, and it thinks it needs to prepare to either fight or flee. So it craves sugar, which can be quickly converted into energy, but that's not all. Consuming sugar also triggers the release of chemicals in our brain, including a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Dopamine is often referred to as the feel-good hormone because, well, it makes you feel good. It's associated with feelings of pleasure and reward. So when you're feeling down and you eat something sweet, your brain releases dopamine, which makes you feel a bit better, at least temporarily. It's essentially your brain's way of trying to cheer you up. Here's another surprising fact. Your gut might also be influencing your sugar cravings. You've probably heard of the microbiome, the community of billions of bacteria living in your gut. Different types of bacteria prefer different types of food, and some of them really love sugar. When you eat a lot of sugar, these bacteria multiply and become more dominant, and they can actually send signals to your brain, encouraging you to eat more sugar. It's like they're lobbying for their favorite food. But before you start blaming your sugar cravings entirely on your hormones, your brain chemicals, or your gut bacteria, remember that psychology also plays a role. We often associate sweet foods with comfort and happiness because of our past experiences. Think about birthday cakes, holiday cookies, or the candy you got as a reward when you were a child. So when we're feeling sad, we often reach for these foods in an attempt to recreate those positive feelings. So there you have it. When you're sad and find yourself reaching for a sugary treat, it's not just a lack of willpower. It's a complex interplay of hormones, brain chemicals, gut bacteria, and psychological associations. But remember, while sugar might provide a quick boost, it's not the best solution for dealing with sadness in the long run. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and talking about your feelings can be much more beneficial. Thank you for watching. If you found this information useful or interesting, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into how our bodies work. And the next time you're feeling blue, maybe reach for a piece of fruit instead of that candy bar. Your body will thank you.